Welcome to part 5 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. This is Ron Moore, along with the Wii Guy and Star Soldier. Oh yeah, we just load the save state, I mean uh, upload the video, and here we are talking about this awesome game again. <laughs> yep. One of the best for Super Nintendo, baby. Oh yeah. It's overrated. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's overrated. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's overrated. Cash, yeah, it's overrated. <laughs> it totally is. Oh. <laughs> So now I am in uh, Tower of Hera. Yep. I call it the Death Fine. Mountain Castle. Yeah. Or the I tower. didn't know it was called that. The Tower. What? I hate those freaking things right there. Uh, jellyfish or something? I don't know. They look like fake switches, you know? They look just like the switches. You go attack them, you know? <laughs> yeah. They change the, I don't know, patterns on the floor. Oh no, they're enemies! Yeah. That's what's real cool about this, uh, this castle. Those switches, and these holes in the floor, and then... Huh, good job. Yo. <laughs> I meant to do Which that. is very advanced back in the day, like, not so much now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's 3D! Woo! Yeah. yeah. Damn it! That didn't happen in any 3D Zelda games, did it? Where you hit those switches and then fall in the holes? That would be pretty cool. I don't think so. I think it just did natural, you know, since the whole game isn't pretty. <laughs> that would be so weird, though, to drop down and go somewhere different. It did that a lot in the water temple, though. <laughs> oh, man, you had that, to backtrack. That temple got my nerves. I was drowning in anger. <laughs> yeah. But the later levels get, you know, pretty hard in this one, too. <laughs> yeah. This part right here gets my nerves. You gotta wait for these tiles to, uh, get through coming after you, and they come through yeah. And for where you gotta wait for the, uh, fall them to come after you so the door opens so you can move on. Yeah, it almost uh, like Home Depot is after you. Yeah. There was one time where I think in low budget review, uh, I was waiting for all these tiles to stop coming after me, but then I realized I had a key. I could have gone through a door and I skipped it. <laughs> yeah, this stage gets very confusing sometimes. Yeah, it took me a long time to beat this stage. It took me a long time to figure out how to get the moon pearl. <laughs> There's just so many factors to it. Okay. Where do I drop? Okay, what switch do I hit? Oh no, do I have to light this area? Did I miss something? Did I miss a key? Ah! Yeah. <laughs> but it's uh. the last dungeon in the normal world, so I guess it has to be somewhat difficult. Yeah. It's a, it's a good challenge. Challenging in your mind. Yeah. My knee challenge for better improvement. Well, this game is not as challenging as Battle Clash. You're just That's being mean now. Trolling, <laughs> <laughs> trolling we guy. You mad? Kind of late. Kind of late if you're trolling me with Battle Clash at this late. <laughs> you said that was like that was like six months ago. <laughs> Should have done it earlier. You're too late. Too late. Well, but but I like Battle Clash. Well, still too late. He, he's the only one who likes it. You're too late. I'm not the only one. You're okay. the only, I'm the only one that you personally know who likes it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, everybody leave a comment if you love Battle Clash. <laughs> uh, if you like it, or just go watch my yeah. LP, that'll do that. Comment on there. Don't even comment on this video. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure, sure you get to... thousands and thousands of comments. I'll thousands get, thousands. I'll get <laughs> three. I'll get three. Yeah. Those three will be people that They'll have. They'll be all be from you. I'm weak guy, and <laughs> I love Battle Clash. Yeah, I'm I weak guy again. I love Battle Clash. Hey, they're all from this weak guy 309 user though. <laughs> this guy's trying to trick us. And what happened to weak guy 1003? Oh, he died along. He was the beta. Oh. And then we got 309. It's still the weak guy, except you know, just the name. It's just the name change. That's all. Ah. The original weak guy died. Well, yeah, he we even got floor panels here. Yeah. 
That's so confusing. This is pants of fun. I don't know if that makes sense. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, let's do a uh, a panel where we talk about how lame Battle Clash is. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, why do we have to talk about Bad Clash when we got this awesome Zelda game here? Yeah, because Momo has nothing <laughs> to say about the game. Yeah, dude, look, oh, a you're playing it. Oh, 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 I remember getting here and being so enthralled because it almost feels like it's part of the game. You're about to get the last pendant. You're very close to the Master Sword. And, yeah, you know you're going to fight that end boss pretty soon. Or at least you think you're going to fight him. <laughs> yeah. It's anticipation. Then the game throws the curveball at you. But yep, yep. I don't want to spoil it too much since we're still in the middle of it. This game was just released. Let's not spoil it enough. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't even... If you're watching this and you don't even know this game, then... Um... Well... Hey! Play it down, for well, Christ's sake! Well, well, maybe they're 12 years yeah. old. Maybe they just got into gaming. Well, then they suck. They should... They have... They need better people to give them gaming advice. <laughs> Yeah, uh -huh. but still. Don't play the <laughs> next Call of Duty, play this. <laughs> yeah. Call, Call of Zelda, Zelda. not fail. <laughs> cause. Sounds better. <laughs> like, yeah, they should modernize Zelda. Legend of yeah. Zelda Modern Warfare. Okay, right now I'm trying to remember which you floor panel to hit to get to the moon portal. I think it's this one right here. Ah! You got that from John Sean Souls. Kill them! Yes. Oh wait, hold on. You got the moon portal! I didn't even know what it did. I was just all like, ooh, it's a moon pearl. Okay. I this love is a glitch. Pearl. This is a glitch where you bomb yourself over there without having to fall through from the ceiling to, to get to the moon pearl. Yeah. I think I don't know if we got from AVGN, Mike Mateys, Zelda glitches, or what? I forgot. Who? <laughs> Mike Matei. Yeah. Yeah, he's friends with James Rowe. He's the other guy. I don't know who he is. I was just... I was beating... No, I was doing... you didn't. No, you didn't. No, no, no. <laughs> Home, home, home. Uh -oh, He's the guy home. with the guitar. Oh, dang oh. it. What? Ha! Ha ha! How to get safe, killed. Safe. <laughs> uh, freaking, uh, uh, thing. Alright, well, anyway. This sucks. It looks like it took two hearts off, too. Yeah, I did. That was lame. Yeah. Don't tell me I'm gonna die again. Please die again. <laughs> Hilarious! <laughs> Please shut up again. Yeah, let's make this a 40 minute long video. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man! Can we do that? I know it says like 25 right now, but maybe we can make it longer somehow. Yes, yeah, make it longer. That's what she said. <laughs> you know what he oh, said? I had to do it. Here's what he said. Back to uh, uh, the top of the tower now. To the future. <laughs> Good job. Didn't you already get the moon pearl? Do you have to get I'm, it again? I'm, I'm trying to. Hit that switch because you know, all them uh all them hearts at the one area on the top floor, well, not the top top floor but the whatever oh, floor we're on. The where all, them, all them pots are because I need a power up before I find that giant worm. Because I always get hit a lot by that giant worm. Oh, we're going to the fifth world. Four. <laughs> yeah, the, this floor right here, all these pots over here. I'm trying to find a switch so I can get to those pots to get all the hearts. Isn't there like a switch at the bottom left? I swear it's like. It's... Ah, forget it. I'm just gonna fight like a man. Oh wait! Oh, like I somehow magically got some hearts now. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's the upstairs trick. All right. <laughs> now to fight centipede for the NES. Oh wait. More like I don't know. I don't even know. I'm. I was like, <laughs> this thing what was like, this? what the what hell? Is this? I don't even. My brain is full of fuck. Oh. I don't know. It looks like a testicle or something. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Made oh, a mini I was going to fight this boss as a kid. I know. I, you pull to beat him, and he just knocked you off. Oh! He got so one I, more hit, and then he knocks you off. He got start all over. That's yeah. insult to injury. Yeah. And his health bar goes up to you know maximum too. Yeah. All right. Here we go. One more hit. For the motherland. Don't fall. Don't fall. Watch me explode. There we go. Now watch him explode. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> That'd be so cool if I died and I actually exploded. Yeah. Well, this ain't Mega Man X. I don't know, I don't want your entrails all over me. <laughs> yes, I got the pendant of... ECW? Oh, it's a cherry pendant. 
not courage. That's the first one I think. Is it wisdom That's, or this is power? Wisdom. Yep, wisdom. Yeah, shoot. I don't know my zone. You got some jewelry. <laughs> yep. All right. Now we need Caldera. Ah, what a good game. Actually, a great game. Excellent. Masterpiece. Super Nintendo best all time. Now we're going to go get the Master, Master Sword. Oh, that would so break your kneecaps. I know, right? It's like a Mario 64. Ooh, you, might, you must have that not leg-breaking technology from Portal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mode, mode, mode 8, where you can land jump as far uh, as, you, as you want and not break your kneecaps. I'll break your kneecaps <laughs> for making that terrible joke. Mode 8. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, there is a mode 8. It's called 3D! Really? Yo, if you don't send me enough loopies, I'm gonna break your kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> he'll do it. Do you, have you seen Star Soldier? Have you yeah. seen what he'll do? I've seen Jay Sun. Watch out. <laughs> oh, God. And I apologize for that. <laughs> that was so last a long time ago. I only hit children. <laughs> <laughs> See? Uh, I'm not such a bad guy after all. See, I don't hit my own kind, I just hit little children. <laughs> Every people's children. Yeah. This is this is totally not <laughs> What? Oh, I, I just I'm trying to make I'm trying to make like just tight, Anyway, trying, here's the I can't Lost even woods. I'm about to see the the found forest or whatever it's called. Looks like Cheat and Chong's basement or outside. I love the music right here in this part of the game. Nice. Nice oh, and oh, whimsical. Oh, we found it already. <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> no it's... Hey, it's you want to find that Master Sword? Whoa, I love shrooms. Man, <laughs> dude. I'm totally tripping out. <laughs> uh, mushrooms. Uh, <laughs> we got any Doritos? Uh. <laughs> oh no, Doritos, not Doritos. Ginger's gonna be all over this. <laughs> yeah. More minerals. We require minerals. Oh, look at all the school pets. Kill them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, this, it's still in Japanese. Come on, Nintendo, translate your games. Oh, here, here we, we go. go. The book of ECW translates to English. Good. English Championship Wrestling. <laughs> Is William Regal be the champion? Ah, right, here we go. E C W. Oh yeah, baby. We got the second best sword in the game. <laughs> yeah. yeah, second best. It's supposed to be the master of them all, but it's not. Yeah, really. No. Well, the next one is the supreme sword. No. <laughs> it doesn't get a flashy oh. <laughs> thing like this. Yeah. Here it's well, like the sword and the stone we're ripping off, but hey, you got the Nets great sword or the best sword in the no, game. So that's a it. sword in the this is sword in the pistol, man. This is different. <laughs> well, this isn't as good as Biggerin sword. Biggeron sword. Biggerin. Biggerin. That's how you pronounce it, though. Biggerin. It's put yeah. Together. Totally. Plug Shut convenience. Up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I. <laughs> of course. Thanks, Ray. Yeah. All right, now let's go to sanctuary. Now you gotta hurry up and make it on time to rescue. The <laughs> no, not really, but uh, yeah, it's like oh, you're a second too late every time we get there. <laughs> oh, you're a second too late, no matter how fast you go. <laughs> oh, oh, come Sonic on! Sonic would done it. Yeah, well, it was if you would have put a, a hack in this game where you play a Sonic, you still would have said you're a second too late. <laughs> you're too slow. You yeah. Put safe states, bam! You're a second too late. <laughs> cheated too. I had to check the map because Skipper Rogers is gonna post a message. You need to check the map. You don't need. Why would I you have heard to start tagging everybody on Facebook with the high roll map because I didn't mention it in the last part. Dang it, Skip. Skip's getting hurt. <laughs> All right. I oh, hope I made it in time. All right. Back to the church with that awesome music. And oh. Wait. <laughs> Ah, oh, dang it. See? You're a sec <laughs> too late. It's cheating. I'll get the programmer to what you're making on time. Stupid. Alright, so the <laughs> preacher is dying. He goes to heaven, and... 
This so game is really bad ways. ways. <laughs> so now okay. we are going back to Hyrule Castle. Yay! <laughs> Again. <laughs> we were just there. At least yeah. at the beginning. Now we gotta go back. <laughs> yeah, because that was so, like, just like 10 minutes ago. It's right. Star Soldier. Yeah. I was, uh, I was actually watching the first part. <gasps> so you yeah, read it! Sequence. <laughs> he likes to watch it backwards. <laughs> it's like Memento. The Legend of Memento. Ow. <laughs> Move. Ow, my way, I'm here to save the princess! Get out of my way! Alright. Uh, now, is the princess our sister in this one, or... I don't know, no, is she our lover? Oh. No, this is not Star Wars, this is... <laughs> she's she not related. Really okay, and... Wait a minute. Oh. No, not this way. Oh, oh. oh we are at the beginning of the game again. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Where... Oh, yeah, I gotta go outside the castle and around, and... Oh, yeah. Up and around and down and back again. Oh yeah. What was that from? <laughs> I just made that up. <laughs> okay. Up and that around. sounds sort of like that old Zelda commercial where the guy goes, Oh, down! And he's in a black leotard and up, it up, made down, no up. sense. <laughs> right. Yay, yeah, start! You got yeah, the Zelda Yeah, you kids code. probably don't remember what I'm talking about. <laughs> you do, <laughs> I mean... You young whippersnappers just... don't know what we're talking about. Well, back in my day, <laughs> Zelda day, games... We didn't have these ridiculous uh, 3D PS... Three games online. All we had is a controller and a joystick. Yep. No, no, because they didn't have joysticks yet. That didn't come till the 64. No, uh, Atari. That doesn't yeah. count because it's uh, that's not that's a uh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, you're right because in the 64 it was an analog stick. Aha! Uh -huh, there we go. That's what I meant. I said joystick. Yeah. yeah. Oh, our controllers were wired and. <laughs> <laughs> We had to plug them onto the TV. Dang, yeah. I'm getting pulled by this. We had no internet connection. Yeah, really. Hey, well, that was we the next we didn't have We didn't have Wi-Fi. Why? Bah. Okay. All we had was a stick in our imagination. Wait, whoa. Okay. Okay, anyway. uh, stick. Yeah, I'll stick it in your imagination, all right? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's that company called? Imagine Entertainment? Wait. <laughs> Never mind. I imagine that they don't exist. <laughs> Easy. They're, like, they're not a good company. <laughs> Alright, at least I think. Yeah, I always thought that was the cool thing about Zelda 3 here, is the light feature. The light? Yeah, the way you can, you know, light the lanterns. Oh, and that. Okay. Well, I guess Nintendo it saw the light the room. and decided to do that. Yeah, I I miss when you can have the magic come out of your sword. Like, why don't they implement that in the new 3D in the 3D Zelda's? Like, you know, when you have full hearts, you can release a magic beam from your sword. I miss that. That was so cool. Yeah, really. That's a that's a good point. They should it's, bring that back. You guys have too much yeah. to do in 3D. <laughs> It'd be cool if you do a scoured sword. <laughs> and use your Wiimote and then power comes out and really gets your TV. Oh, that kind of is when you charge <laughs> up your sword. That's kind of like, that's like the next best thing to the full hearts magic from your sword. This is the the Skyward Charge. Like, that's the next best thing. What if, like, you really did it to where an actual charge, an actual light came out of your Wiimote and went, a light sensor went to the TV and you saw the light go in the TV and it hit <laughs> the Emmy on the game? That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> But then yeah. you fight in the room actually to kill them, and yeah, it's not good. <laughs> no, no the like, game would be like two thousand yeah, dollars. Yeah, that'd be like yeah. some three. That'd be some three D shit, there, man. Maybe you could that'd do it like, on the Wii U. I don't know. The three DS shit, something. I don't know. Yeah. Please do not use this game on the president. <laughs> that would be like a nuclear weapon. <laughs> the Nintendos would be outcasted. outcasted. They'd be considered terrorism. I'll cast. I'm sorry, yeah. Miss Jackson. <sighs> I am for you. <laughs> all right, we're almost there. It's like it's like a gauntlet here. You have to go through all these multiple levels, fighting all these enemies. 
Yeah. Yeah, it tells you that you, your master sword is actually useless against the end boss. Yeah. Or Arcanum or Aganum or yeah, Aganum or Aganum, something like that. Something like that. Aganim. I have no idea. Yeah. It's not like it's Ganon or somebody. I thought that was the final, real final boss was that guy. I was like, where's Ganon? Oh, well, I guess we're finding this. Oh, wait a minute. It's kind of like Dr. Wally. Cool it's kind like, of like Dr. Wally in Mega Man games. You know he's going to be the final boss. You thought he was just some asshole. Well, we already thought that anyway. <laughs> yeah. Asshole. Dr. Asshole. Dr. Butthole. <laughs> That's, that sounds like a really bad porno. <laughs> Yeah. Dr. Butthole. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, no. Dr. Protologist. Uh, let me take you to my secret layer. Uh, you know, the Amazon woman. Haha. <laughs> I need to take your temperature. <laughs> <laughs> Watch when I stick this one on it. Uh... Well, there's a wrestler named the Protologist or something. His finishing move is called the Cavity Surge. He, <laughs> instead of the mandible, Mankind's Mandible Claw. He uses plastic love and never mind. <laughs> and oh that would not be that wouldn't be that wouldn't be wrestling. That would be something else. Yeah, really. <laughs> well, actually, so, that kind of happened. Remember, remember, Star Soldier Steve Austin shoved that thing up Vince McMahon's butt in the hospital room. <laughs> yeah, Paige and Doctor Austin. Yeah. Well, I would say I if they did from here, nurse. So then, actually, show anything. But anyway. Yeah. Right, here we go. Now oh, we have yeah. reached Aghanim and Zelda. Haha, <laughs> I've been waiting for you. <laughs> oh, really? I guess that's why he didn't start doing it and doing the thing until we got here. Okay, Link, you know, I'll just go and stab him right now. Yeah, I was like, why don't you just okay. go? Come on, Link. Stab him. Princess Zelda, she's up in the air. Well, you done time goofed. The world. You Looks lazy like asshole! Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! I mean, wait, this. Oh ho! Oh ho! It's easy! Ho oh, oh. ho! What? You've never the power of gold. <laughs> wait, what? Power wait, of gold? I think it was the power of gods originally, but they had to censor that out because of religion. Can't mention God in a video game. Ooh. Come on, ever courage? Why? Right? Ah! Uh. Anyway, we're in Castlevania. Can't make Christian references. Now, um, sure they uh, can. Now, with the intense battle with Aganim, yeah, you can see you use your bug net also instead of the sword, <laughs> which I didn't at first. I thought that was the only thing you can use against Aganim was the bug net. What? Yeah, I even think you can use the master sword. The master sword is useless. The, the yeah, years, it, years later. Oh, you use me for so That's amazing. You just first game. Oh my god, better start using my bug net. Yeah, it worked. That's how I beat him. First yeah, time. yeah, that's like it. Yeah, it worked, but it's like that's such a uh, some. How? Why would you think that would be the first thing to go to instead of just trying your sword, the main weapon you have? He said uh, reflect his power against him. I think the sword would do it. I thought he had to use another item. Because the sword is too, like, oh, well, just use your sword? It's usually, you know, Zelda Dungeons or Mega Man games, you gotta use a different weapon besides the regular one. So I guess I was thinking I had to use something else, and, well, I can, but it's yeah, not the easy. Can, but... <laughs> yeah. So you are trying to capture his power. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that, that, that's what I was trying to do, yeah, yeah. I was trying to do that. I didn't really think you could beat him. Uh, the only way you could beat him was bug catcher net. I'm gonna catch his power in this net and put it in a bottle. <laughs> That's why I was uh, trying to make it a mission to get the bug catcher and I gotta get that thing or I can't beat I got him. <laughs> All right, we finished the game. All right, Thank well, you everybody for watching. I give Zelda a... Oh wait, what's going on? Yeah, I actually kind of thought this is the end or almost the end. And then I found out, no, you got a whole nother game to play here. <laughs> what the... F <laughs> That's bull crap, holy. Really? I was yeah. disappointed by this scene. Why? Here well, we get so, the so, so, man telling us... Oh no, you didn't do it quite yet. <laughs> you have to do more errands for me. No, no, it's yeah. good, because you wouldn't want the game to be as short as that. Like, that would be the worst Zelda game ever if it was that short. Well, yeah, it's true, but the time, we... So some of us took so long to get to that point, and doing all these errands, secret bombing the walls, and finding all these secrets and stuff, and then finally beating all three castles, and then finding a Ghanim, 
And then he's like, all oh, right, the end. And then, oh, whoa, we got seven more freaking castles to go? Yeah. So at the time, I, I was thinking, man, this is a long game. freaking game. But, but now yeah. looking back, it's like, oh, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad uh, you know, we have a whole other world to do. Because that would be a short game. Like, man, I've done enough already. Hey, get your money's <laughs> worth, man. Come on. This is back in the 1990s. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that is it for part five. We will see you in part six for our adventure through the dark world. Till then, God bless you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.